You may have heard about toxic black mold syndrome. Research shows as many as 10 million people in the country may be affected by the disease. Dr. Elizabeth Vaughn is here today to discuss this illness, which is frequently misdiagnosed. I guess first off, what exactly is black mold? Well, black mold is the the proper name is Stachybotrys chicharum. It's one of many sources of toxins that can cause illness in animals and people. It's a mold that makes biotoxins, which is a broader term for toxins made by living things, like black mold, other toxic molds, the fungus candida, spider or snake bites, Lyme disease, or other tick-borne illnesses. Okay, so now that we know what it is, where can you get exposed to this black mold? Well, specifically black mold, you're going to get exposed to it where there's been water damage from leaky pipes or flooding or buildings that are built too tight. Many cases of sick building syndrome are actually due to mold because the buildings are built too tightly. Now, we were talking about this earlier, and you said some people will get sick from it, but not everybody gets sick. And that's why it's so hard to pin down sometimes. The reason is it's all in your genes, specifically your HLA genes. These are the ones that have to do with uh, transplantation, etc. If your body gets exposed to toxins in food, water, air, insect bites, and you have good HLA genes, they make proteins that tag the toxins so your body can get rid of it. If you have inadequate HLA genes, your body can't see the toxins, so they hang around and trigger a cascade of pro-inflammatory reactions and really mess up your hormones. So let's say people have those kind of genes. Mm -hmm. What kind of diagnoses could they have because of the toxins? Well, it can act like many, many different things. Chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, neurological disorders that look like MS or ALS or dementia. Um, Psychiatric illnesses like ADD and ADHD or depression. Sometimes people are just fat and they can't lose weight no matter what they do. There's a long list of symptoms um, that you can get. And and that's the thing. There's so many of these things which are very kind of common. Mm -hmm. Is there any kind of pattern to it? There is a pattern to it. Um, When you look at the list, it's a very long list. And the problem is that it will change over time. Um, And the the symptoms will change from week to week. Um, It'll involve a number of different uh, 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 organ systems in the body. Uh, There will also be, there's also over a hundred different toxins that these molds produce, so each person will react to it slightly differently, and that's why lots of people just think you're crazy. And that's never a good thing. (laughs) That's never a good thing. Okay, so let's say you may think I have this or Mm -hmm. I have this mold in my home. Any suggestions? Well, first off, take take a look at the article in Natural Triad. Take a look at, Latin, at the article Natural Triad this month. Because um, if you think that you, your illness fits this picture, find someone who's knowledgeable about toxic black mold and get some help. Um, if you and your doctor know you're sick, but you can't figure out what you have, or if they think you're crazy or you think you're crazy, don't give up. Get educated and get tested. And that's right. Education is always key to something like this. That's right. There are a couple of different websites that I refer to in the article that are so useful for testing of neurotoxins and also just get yourself educated. And that way you'll have a better idea of what to do. Wonderful. As always, thank you so much, Dr. Vaughn. Thanks, Melissa.